Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today I want to show you an example of using the plugin called Spati Settings Filament plugin based on a package by, well, Spati for Laravel. And this is another example of Cachette project we've been reviewing on this channel for a while. There's Settings menu item, Navigation group with three menu items, Manage Cachette with some settings, Manage Customization with some HTML, and Manage theme. So all of those pages are based on Spati settings plugin, which comes from the official filament. So you install that in your project by compose require filament Spati Laravel settings plugin. Then you need to, of course, prepare the settings classes. So you need to dive into the documentation of the underlying plugin package Laravel settings, which says that you should do this. So class extends settings, and then each of your setting, like a global setting for your project, should be a property in that class. So this is how it is implemented in the Cachette project in the code. So there is a class manage Cachette, which corresponds to this menu item on the left, manage Cachette. It extends settings page, and then you provide which class of settings you use inside of that class there are many properties. And then in the form of that page of Manage Cachette, you provide the form with filament components, inputs and validation rules, whatever you want, columns span full, or you customize the layout in other way. So basically do whatever you want, and then the result is this. For example, incident days seven, whatever that means, I'm not even sure, you change that to five, you save the changes, and it is saved, in this case, in the database. The underlying package of Spati allows you to save that in Redis, for example, or elsewhere, but in our case, it's a simple database. So if I refresh that now, you see app incident days seven, we refresh, and it should be saved as five. And then whenever you need those values somewhere in your dashboard or outside of the dashboard of filament, the Spati package shows this example. For example, you type in general settings, the class, and then that class gives you all the properties from the database. So this is exactly what is happening in Cachette project. For example, I found component that loads app settings in constructor, and then we have this app settings name and this theme settings app banner. So theme settings is another setting class representing another menu item, which is this one, manage theme. So yeah, with this way, Another example, another component is incidents. It also loads private app settings in the constructor. And then we have this app settings incident days, exactly the one that we updated just a minute ago. And then it is used in the render method of that component. So yeah, a quick example of a simple package and plugin for filament to manage some global settings on your page, dashboard, or global website. What do you think? Have you used that in your project? Let's discuss in the comments below. And see you guys in other videos.